So, and I am the Research and Policy Associate for the Office of Arts, Culture, and the Creative Economy with the City of Philadelphia. Part of my responsibilities in that position involve the management of culture blocks, which is up here, and what is basically what I'm going to focus on talking about today. So it started with two questions. First was, what is the impact or the relationship between creativity and neighborhoods or the place of Philadelphia? Second is, there's a, tons of arts and culture happening in Philadelphia. Is there a place where we can see or track all this activity happening? The first question was raised during a meeting with my office, um, the Social Impact for the Arts Project uh, at the University of Pennsylvania, and the Reinvestment Fund. The second question, at a different time and in a different place, was raised by Mayor Nutter while he was in the first couple years of his term traveling to a lot of activities and kind of amazed at the overwhelming pervasiveness of arts and culture across the city. So in response to both questions, we developed a tool and a, a subsequent research report related to culture blocks. So first, the online tool is a free online mapping tool that visualizes arts, culture, and um, creative assets of Philadelphia along with the demographic, geographic, social, economic, any, not any, but a lot of other ideas and data sets of Philadelphia um, alongside it. So you can kind of see the interaction or the interrelationship between cultural <coughs> activity and perhaps um, the number of parks or along train lines or near bike lanes. Um, so beyond that, we had a research project that took a deeper dive into the 50 data sets that are on the tool to kind of explore and see if there was a relationship between create, creative activity and the well-being of a place, whether it's economic well-being or the social well-being, such as crime, health, and things like that. So the impact of the tool is twofold. Oh, I forgot to mention, this tool was launched in um, April 2013, so it's been around for a little bit. Um, the impact of the tool is twofold, and it's still ongoing. Um, currently, we have um, 50 data sets on there, and they're updated at least annually. Um, and so what's really interesting is that the data sets range from cultural activity to um, other data sets that are available through the city of Philadelphia, such as um, school catchment area, councilmatic districts, um, recreation centers, libraries, and even schools that offer arts and culture programming. So there's a lot more information than that's valuable to not just arts and cultural organizations, but this tool has been used by city planners, CDCs, grant makers, and other city departments. Um, because all those data sets are in that tool, um, actually, yeah, that's why it's not just valuable to arts and arts organizations. Um, and subs the subsequent research report is valuable because it provides concrete evidence of the value of arts and culture and creativity to the well-being and state of neighborhoods and its residents. So it's kind of given us and the tool users an opportunity to articulate the value of arts and culture to a neighborhood and to communities and put us at the table of economic development, community revitalization, and show the value of the presence of arts and culture to the well-being of the community. And so my six words are, creativity is a driver of well-being.